Hey everyone, Irix Guy, the electric smoker guy here. Uh, now this is a this is an eye grill. Now if you've purchased the eye grill and you've tried to pair it with your phone, in my case it's the iPhone 5 with the latest Apple updates, and I've got the latest eye grill app that I downloaded onto my iPhone 5. But when I got my eye grill, I had problems pairing it initially. I would go into my phone and my phone wouldn't see it. Anyway, here's how I fixed it, and hopefully this will save you some time, too, and get you out there on your smoker, or your grill, or even in your oven, oven and monitoring those, uh, those temperatures, whether ambient or inside the meat, with your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod Touch. And this same procedure should work for all devices. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you pair is uh, you're going to want to go into your iPhone 5, and you're going to go into settings. You're going to go into, well, actually, with the latest OS, when you go into settings towards the top, you'll see Bluetooth. And if that's not on, you'll want to turn it on. So you're going to go there. After you've got Bluetooth on on your phone, the next thing you're going to want to do, if you've already inserted your batteries into your eye grill, like I did out of the box, go ahead and take them out and keep them out of the eye grill for about 20 seconds and definitely wait 20 seconds. Once you've taken the batteries out, and this is an ambient temperature probe right here that I'm putting over my ear. Um, once you've taken your batteries out of your eye grill, waited 20 seconds, put your batteries back in your eye grill. Now, with your iPhone or iPad or iPod comfortably on your desk, what you're going to want to do is just, you know, look at that, since you've turned Bluetooth on, look at that page and it'll the Bluetooth page on your iPhone will indicate that it's looking for a, for a Bluetooth device. So then this is a very important step. So when you turn your eye grill on, you're going to push, and you're going to do this all at the same time, but first of all, you want to put one finger on the plus sign, one finger on the minus sign, and then one finger on the power button. Continue holding all of those. Now it's going to beep and turn on somewhat immediately, but that's not what you want. Continue holding all of those until you hear a long beep, and that'll probably be about 8 or 10 seconds in. Once you hear the long beep from your eye grill device, you should then see on your phone a pairing. It'll say like eye grill or something like that, and you'll know when it sees that, that your phone or your iPad or your iPod is seeing your eye grill. The second visual acknowledgement that you've got the Bluetooth pairing uh, set up is that you'll see this little blue, solid blue icon above the eye grill logo on your eye, go, on your eye grill device. And that solid blue icon, it kind of looks, it's hard to see in this video, but it kind of looks like a blue flame. That indicates you're successfully paired. So once you've done that, the next thing you'll do is from your iPhone, iPod, iPad, whatever, go to your eye grill app. Once you open the eye grill app, if you've got a meat thermometer or an internal thermometer, in my case I've got the ambient thermometer, I can now see the temperature readout, which it's behind my ear right now, but I can see it fluctuating. So you're good to go. And likewise, if you plugged in a second uh, thermometer, you'd be able to monitor that from your app. Uh, just a really cool app. And it's, anyway, check out my other videos because I'm going to do, I'm, this is just a how to get paired with Bluetooth with your eye grill. But I'm going to post a plethora of videos pertaining to eye grill and electric smoking. So if you haven't, I hope this tip helped. And if you haven't subscribed already, I encourage you to do so. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash guy. And I'm guy, the electric smoker guy. Y'all have a good day. And share this video with others.